everybody, this is Nick from Rover Robotics, and today I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 20.04 and ROS2 Foxy on a Jetson Nano. So there's a couple forum posts out there uh, on NVIDIA's forum on how to do this. One of them involves Docker images. Uh, I'm going to stay away from that uh, in this video uh, because if you're anything like me and you're not a Docker expert, then it can be really hard to learn ROS2 and and deal with Docker at the same time. So uh, Mr. Chris Michaels, uh, or Mitchells rather, uh, has has graced us with this Xubuntu 2004 image that we can just use Bolina to install directly onto an SD card uh, and skip the containerization uh, and Docker nonsense. Uh, so that's what I'm going to walk you through. So uh, at the bottom of his post, he uh, gives us the tar.dbz2 file to download. So if you click this, uh, it'll start your download. And I actually already did this, so I'm going to cancel that. So I have it over here. Uh, once you get that downloaded, uh, and it's a quite a big file, 1.6 gigabytes, uh, you'll need to uh, unzip it. So if you're working off of Linux, uh, that'll be easy because it's a tar file. Uh, but if you're on Windows, uh, like I am currently, um, you'll need something like 7-zip in order to uh, extract that. So if you go over to uh, your downloaded file, um, you'll have to extract it twice. So uh, right-click it, hit 7-zip, um, uh, and then you'll have to extract it. Um, and then you'll have to do that a second time. So if I go in here, uh, it the first time it created this tar.tar .tar file, uh, and then I hit it again and uh, hit extract here, uh, and then it finally gives you this image uh, uh, .img file that Bolina can then uh, help you with. So uh, if you don't have Bolina, uh, go download it. It's a great tool. Uh, we use it all the time. Uh, it's cross-platform, and it really uh, it helps with detecting the SD card because uh, you don't want to accidentally write to your home directory. Uh, we've done that before, uh, and it's not pretty. Uh, so you select your SD card uh, here, uh, and then you hit Flash from File, uh, and you can select uh, that image, disk image file here, and then you just hit Flash, uh, and it'll take take a while. Got to hit. Got to give it permissions, uh, and this, yeah, this this process will take like 20 minutes. Uh, so you just got to be patient. Then once uh, Bolina has done its thing, it'll pop up with a, a bunch of windows. You're gonna want to ignore the format disk option, and you're just gonna want to cancel out of, out of all of these or uh, or eject your SD card. All right, now that you have your new X Ubuntu image loaded, you can open up Firefox and just go through the normal install tools for ROS2 Foxy. So you'll want to click on Debian packages. Make sure not to click on uh, from source, otherwise you'll be here all day trying to compile things. Uh, and then just copy these commands into a terminal. Uh, I find it easiest to right click and do always on top and then uh, control shift V uh, will paste it into the terminal or you can highlight it and center click that also works. Then we're gonna do the uh, ROS base install. You could do the desktop if you want to use tools like Arviz, uh, but we recommend always using a remote computer uh, and then running either Arviz or something else to view your data on that computer. So we're just going to do the base. All right, now that your ROS2 Foxy install has finished, 
we're going to go ahead and test the install by doing uh, these examples. And one of the things that's different from ROS1 installs and ROS2 installs is that they uh, they don't right away tell you to put it in this source command in your bash rc file, meaning you have to run it in every terminal uh, that you open. All right, now that we've finished our ROS2 install, we're going to run the ROS2 topic list command, and we'll see the default two topics uh, indicating that ROS is successfully running. And there we have it. Now you can enjoy ROS2 Foxy on your Jetson Nano. And if you're working with one of our robots, uh, good luck and happy roving.